O oh Allah, you are exalted with praise in all manners and ways by the number of your slaves until the end of days. O creator of the heavens and placer of the stars and the savior of the believers no matter where they are. O you who created everything with the scale perfectly measured from the smallest of your creatures to the oceans and the deserts, I praise you until you are pleased. And I cannot encompass praising you. You are as you praised yourself. O Allah, send salutations upon our master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who taught us what we did not know and gave and gave because he loved us so. O Allah, guide us amongst those you've guided and give us help amongst those you've given health to and protect us amongst those you protected and bless us in what has been given to us by you and protect us from any evil you've decreed for you decree in truth and none decree over you. We seek forgiveness from you, our Lord, and repent to you and believe in you and rely on you. Seek judgment from you, so grant us forgiveness from you for our past sins and the new. Those hidden and evident, from all of them we repent and from those we've forgotten why you knew. O oh Allah, forgive our sins. O most merciful of the merciful, O most forgiving of forgivers, we ask you for a mercy from you that will guide our hearts aright and correct for us our affairs and make us not in need of the mercy of anyone other than you, O oh Allah. Your mercy has enveloped everything, so envelop us in your mercy. O oh Allah, grant us your pleasure and paradise, and we seek refuge in you from your anger and the fire. O oh Allah, grant us consciousness of you that will prevent us from sinning against you, and grant us acts of worship that will enter us into paradise, and grant us conviction and certainty that will lighten for us the burden of this world, and allow us the blessings of our sight, hearing, and strength as long as we are alive, and give us victory over those who oppose us, and don't make our problems in our religion. Do not make the dunya our main concern or the majority of our knowledge and don't make the hellfire our destination and make paradise our eternal abode. O oh Allah, we ask you for all good, good now and good later and what we know to be good and what we don't. And we seek refuge in you from all evil, evil now and evil later and what we know to be evil and what we don't. And we ask you for paradise and what will bring us close to it of actions and speech and to protect us from the hellfire and what will bring us close to it of actions and speech. O oh Allah, accept our fasting and our prayer, our charity and Qur'an and beautify for us our spouses and bring tranquility to our homes and fix our relationships and make them guided by you alone. O oh Allah, relieve the stress of those in stress, place tranquility within their breasts, relieve the debts of those in debt and marry our bachelors and bachelorettes. Allow us to see the truth as being truth and to carry your book with strength and give us the ability to follow it and allow us to see falsehood as being falsehood and give us the ability to avoid it. O oh Allah, as you guided us to Islam, do not strip it away from us until we meet you. Make what is hidden of our nature better than what is visible and make what is visible righteous. Guide us to the best of character. No one guides to the best of character except for you and protect us from all evil character and none protects from evil character except for you. My Lord, have mercy on them as they raised me when I was young. Lord, have mercy on them as they raised me when I was young. My Lord, have mercy on them as they raised me when I was young. And heal our sick. Wipe over them with your blessed healing hand. Remove their harm, O Lord of mankind. You are the healer. Heal them, heal them. A healing that leaves behind no ailment. Heal them and heal us and heal all of the ill. Heal them and heal us and heal all of the ill. O Allah, have mercy on our dead. Expand their graves as far as their eyes can see and make them gardens from the gardens of paradise. They were beautiful. So beautify their reception. And gather them and us with the prophets, martyrs, righteous and truthful. And what excellent company is that? O oh Allah, bless our teachers and make them guided as they lead the way to you. And everyone who has a right over us and everyone who we love for your sake and loves us, forgive their sins and enter them into paradise. O oh Allah, how many a sin we committed that you knew and you didn't expose us as we concealed our sins before, forgive them now. And make our tomorrow always better than our today and make the best of our days the day that we meet you. O oh Allah, protect our brothers and sisters over every earth and under every sky. Relieve the burdens of the ummah of your beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in China and Burma, Syria, Iraq, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Egypt, Yemen, Libya and Sudan, Gaza and Palestine, C.A.R. and Kashmir, wherever they are, you see and hear and in all of the lands of the Muslims protect their blood, dignity and wealth. O oh Allah, we complain to you the abundance of our wounds and scattered populations, countries ravaged and consumed, have mercy on us. Gather families torn apart by war, return them to each other, and free those unjustly imprisoned. 
honor Islam and the Muslims. Honor Islam and the Muslims. Support those who support your religion and forsake those who forsake it. Oh Allah, I ask you by every name that you have, that you named yourself or revealed in a book or taught to any of your creation or kept to yourself in the knowledge of the unseen that you make the Quran the spring of our hearts and the light of our chests. The remover of our sadness, the repeller of our stress. Teach us what we don't know and remind us what we've forgotten and allow us to recite throughout the day and the night. Oh Allah, bless the young of our ummah. Make them of those who grew up in your worship. Give them the best of youth and protect them from its traps. Give them a faith that is protection from treachery and deception and give them the strength to carry Islam to the world that they will inherit. Grant us of spouses and children that will be the coolness of our eyes and make us leaders of the righteous. So Allah, you forgive, you love to forgive. So forgive us. So Allah, you forgive, you love to forgive. So forgive us. So Allah, you forgive, you love to forgive. So forgive us. So Allah, I ask you for the best that your messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked you for. And I seek refuge in you from the worst that your messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sought refuge in you from. So Allah, don't prevent us from the good that you possess because of the bad that we possess. O Allah, we seek refuge in you from the diminishing of your blessings and from your protection upon us being reversed, the suddenness of your vengeance and all forms of your wrath. O Hay, O Qayyum, O ever-living, O maintainer, it is in your mercy that we seek the removal of our harm. O Allah, we ask you to have mercy on us, presenting our sinful souls and bodies in front of you. The servants you have other than us are many, and we have no lords other than you. O oh Allah, we are the worried and the broken and the needy and the frail and the fearful and the tearful and the confessors of their sins and the admitters to them. O oh Allah, we ask you to free our souls from the hellfire, free our souls from the hellfire. O oh Allah, we obeyed you with your permission and the favor is yours. And we disobeyed you with your knowledge and the evidence is yours too. O oh Allah, we ask you to make us fear you until we meet you and not have hope in anyone other than you. O oh Allah, assist us in remembering you and thanking you and worshipping you beautifully. Our Lord, you have said, if you are thankful, I will increase you. Make us of the thankful. Guide us to your thanks and increase us in blessings. Do not leave us to ourselves for the blinking of an eye and correct for us all of our affairs. O oh Allah, we ask you for the means of your mercy and forgiveness, the benefit of every good deed and safety from all sins. And we ask you not to leave any sin of ours except that you forgive it, and no distress except that you relieve it, and no need except that you meet it. O oh Allah, guide us a guidance after which we will never be misguided and make our hearts fully yours, never to be divided. We ask you to make us true in speech in times of pleasure and anger, and moderate in poverty and wealth. And we ask you for everlasting delight and joy that will never cease. And we ask you to make us pleased with what you have decreed and for an easy life after death. And we ask you for the sweetness of looking upon your face and a longing to meet you in a matter that doesn't entail calamity, that will bring about harm or a trial that will cause deviation. O Allah, beautify us with the adornment of faith and make us amongst those who are guided and guiding of others. And suffice us with what is halal over that which is haram and make us not in need of anyone other than you. O oh Allah, make us love faith and beautify it in our hearts and make hated to us disbelief, disobedience and transgression and make us of the guided. O oh Allah, how many times have you saved us from our mistakes? How many times have you picked us up when we have fallen? How many times have you calmed our fears? How many times have you guided us to safety from danger? You are able to do all things. There is no heart that you can't guide. There is no brokenness that you can't fix. There is no illness that you can't cure. There is no sin you can't forgive. There is no fear that you can't calm. There is no dream that you can't give. There is no problem you can't solve. We ask you, O oh Allah, to grant us safety on the day of fear and to make our journey to you beautiful and to gather us and our families and our loved ones in paradise and to protect us from the fire. Allahumma